Hi there, welcome to our channel. To learn the most fascinating world facts, please watch the entire video. We'll discuss 8 things you don't know about the Earth in the video of today. Let's start. There's no doubt that planet Earth is awe-inspiring. That's even more true for the handful of humans who've seen it from space with their own eyes. We tend to think of ourselves as a weird, tiny little human being on a very large, powerful planet, and therefore clearly irrelevant to anything that might affect the planet at a planetary scale," says former NASA astronaut Katherine Sullivan, who in 1984 became the first U.S. woman to walk in space. In some ways that's true, but if you step back and look at the planet in total, you see how richly interconnected and intertwined all the actual systems are. Even with all its magnificence and majesty, Earth is also just kind of strange, aside from the fact that it's the only planet known, so far, to support life. It has a bunch of inherent quirks, from geophysical weirdness to the landscapes adorning its surface to the organisms it supports. And the more we learn about Earth's peculiarities, the more we grow to appreciate and treasure its many wonders, starting with the air we breathe. Number 8. There are four oceans. Historically, there are four named oceans. The Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean has an area of about 106,460,000 square kilometers, 41,105,000 square miles. The Atlantic Ocean covers 20% of the Earth's surface. The second largest ocean on Earth, the Atlantic drives our weather patterns, including hurricanes, and is home to many species from sea turtles to dolphins. Pacific Ocean Body of salt water extending from the 60 degrees S parallel in the south to the Arctic in the north and lying between the continents of Asia and Australia on the west and North America and South America on the east. Atlantic Ocean the next largest division of the hydrosphere, and its area more than exceeds that of the whole land surface of the globe. The Pacific Ocean stretches from the Bering Strait to 60 degrees S latitude through more than 120 degrees of latitude, nearly 9,000 miles, about 14,500 kilometers. Its greatest latitudinal extent measures some 12,000 miles, about 19,000 kilometers along latitude 5 degrees N between the coasts of Colombia in South America and the Malay Peninsula in Asia. Arctic Ocean Arctic Ocean is by far the smallest of Earth's oceans, having only a little more than one-sixth the area of the next largest, the Indian Ocean, its area of 5,440,000 square miles, 14,090,000 square km is five times larger than that of the largest sea, the Mediterranean. The deepest sounding obtained in Arctic waters is 18,050 feet, 5,502 meters, but the average depth is only 3,240 feet, 987 meters. Indian Ocean, body of salt water covering approximately one-fifth of the total ocean area of the world. It is the smallest, geologically youngest, and physically most complex of the world's three major oceans, Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian. It stretches for more than 6,200 miles, 10,000 kilometers, between the southern tips of Africa and Australia, and without its marginal seas, has an area of about 27,243,000 square miles, 70,560,000 square km. Number 7. The planet's poles flip. We all know that north is, well, north somewhere above Alaska and south is down near the middle of Antarctica. That will always be true for the planet's geographic poles, but it's only intermittently true for the planet's magnetic poles. Over the past 20 million years, the magnetic poles have flip-flopped every several hundred thousand years or so which means that if you had a compass in hand about 800,000 years ago, it would tell you that North was in Antarctica. Though scientists are pretty sure Earth's churning, molten iron core powers these polar acrobatics. It's not entirely clear what triggers the actual reversals. The process is gradual and occurs over millennia. For now, Earth's North magnetic pole is creeping northward by about 40 miles a year. 
And given that the last major pole reversal happened 780,000 years ago, we are overdue for a flip. Number 6. It has a supersized moon. Sunday evening marked the most recent rising of the supermoon, but regardless of how large Earth's moon appears in the sky on any given night, it's always among the solar system's most overgrown satellites. Relative to Earth, it's positively enormous, coming in at a quarter as wide as our home planet. The only celestial twosome that bests the Earth-Moon team in this regard is Pluto and its biggest moon Charon, which really form more of a binary system, a pair of objects twirling around each other, rather than a typical planet-moon pair. And thank goodness, the moon is so big and so close. If it were smaller or farther away, we would never see total solar eclipses. Number 5. One River is Boiling Once thought to be the simple stuff of legend, a boiling river hidden deep in the Peruvian Amazon actually exists. Oh, it's not actually boiling, but the river comes within a few degrees of that mark, and it's still hot enough to transform an already otherworldly rainforest into a steaming, mystical paradise that can cook clumsy small animals alive. Recently, National Geographic explorer Andres Ruzo went to the Boiling River and returned with a reason for its effervescence. Tremendous geothermal activity that's unrelated to volcanoes or oil drilling. Number 4. It hosts a humongous fungus. When it comes to the biggest living things on Earth, it might be easy to think about blue whales, elephants, and trees. You may even recall that coral reefs are the largest conglomerates of critters. But largest single organism reported is an armillaria mushroom in Oregon. In 1992, one of these fungi was found in Michigan covering 37 acres. But more recently, teams investigating a mysterious tree die-off found that the culprit was an even more monstrous fungus, covering at least 2,000 acres and estimated to be thousands of years old. Though the mushrooms themselves erupt out of the soil, they're connected by a tentacular underground network of tissues called mycelia. There's a chance the mushrooms' offshoots may not all be perfect clones, but it does appear as though the giant fungus takes this particular trophy, and it apparently tastes great with spaghetti. Number 3. Some parts are downright alien-looking. Ethiopia's Danakil Depression is a bizarre landscape worthy of the superlatives tossed at it. Hottest, driest, lowest, weirdest. Though simmering hot springs, poisonous gases, crackling lava lakes, and salty mirages make the Danakil Depression seem like one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Even here, life has found a way. Multicolored hydrothermal vents are home to ecosystems that astrobiologists are now using as analog in the search for life beyond Earth. Number 2. There's an underwater meadow. The Mediterranean's most widespread seagrass, named Posidonia, after the Greek god Poseidon, is also thought to be among the oldest known living things on Earth. Genetic sequencing recently revealed that an expansive Posidonia meadow growing off the coast of Spain could be as many as a hundred thousand years old. This means that before our modern human ancestors even left Africa, the first of these seagrass shoots was gently putting down roots and beginning a process of cell division and cloning that would survive through the global spread of humankind. One of the reasons that slow-growing Posidonia can last for so long is that it has few natural competitors or predators except for humans, whose exploding populations and poor habitat management are slowly destroying the ancient meadows. Number 1. There are hidden gems beneath your feet. Buried a thousand feet underground, the gypsum pillars in Mexico's appropriately named Cave of Crystals are the largest natural crystals known. Some of the beams in the sweltering cave measure more than 30 feet long. You might think it hard for Earth to hide such a glittering crystalline trove, but the cave was only discovered in 2000, when silver miners accidentally broke through its walls. A similarly magical subterranean treasure, Vietnam's Hang Son Doom Cave, the world's largest, also remained hidden until relatively recently. Spotted in 1991, the cave hosts a lush rainforest, 
and is big enough for a 747 jumbo jet to comfortably park inside. Which one did you find to be most fascinating? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.